welcome back to another video guys um, in this video I am going to go in thorough detail on the King Bowling S800 uh, this machine you can pick up on Amazon uh, the price mark for this sort of diagnostic machine you're looking around about £160-ish maybe more maybe less depending on the offers they have on I'm going to go through this machine in more depth in a second and I will go through what it's capable of doing and what not um, on this video only I am obviously just going to run through it as is i'm not going to pair it up to any cars in the future videos i will be and i will be comparing this to other diagnostic machines as well but the king boland has definitely made their achievement in many ways um so we'll start off this is the box this is obviously it doesn't come like this you will receive it in another packaging which is secure so nothing to worry about this is a brand new uh, diagnostic machine has not been used at all so this is the way it is okay it is sort of type you would have to pair up and connect in this sort of way and then the other half will have to go into the vehicle manual which in my world never exists i'm not overly interested in a manual unless you want to i don't know if you want to flick through it that's your decision guys this is the cable okay this part does go into the vehicle and this part locks in to the machine itself one advice, one thing I'd like to feed back to King Bolin in this case would be, it's a brilliant piece of kit. I've used uh, various different ones. Um, one issue I've had, I won't say it's an issue, but it's something that'll probably work itself out down the line, maybe in you know after you've done probably 10 vehicles maybe or more. The This section here, when you come in to plug it into the vehicles, it's a bit tight and stiff. But after a bit, it wears out, you know, these in here. They wear out and they are easy and nice uh, to slip into the OBD section on the vehicles. But that's one thing I'd probably say just probably, I don't know, chop some bits and bobs in there. I guess that's for King Bolan. But other than that, spot on. And you can always pick these up as well, guys. Um, you know, sort of new. You can pick these up, even longer cables if you wanted to online. I always tend to buy a second pair um, not saying that King Bowling's faulty, but in general, uh, you may damage the pins. Uh, you could do, anything could happen. You could lose it, so that's why I, I always have a backup. Um, but that's that one. This is for the charging point here. So one end is the USB. The other does go into the machine itself. Obviously, I am going to turn it on. It's a good question. Where do we top it up? Here it is. You've got SD card and the Type-C in there, and that's how you would um, charge this up. Like we said, we've not switched this on, so let's see if it does turn on, if it has any power in. Nope. So, we'll charge it up, and we'll move on to the next stage. But in here, there is nothing else, guys, other than that. So, it's turned on itself, obviously. Um, the good thing is it's touchscreen. And also you can use the buttons as well, which is good. Um, we will have a look. We'll pair everything up anyway, get it all working. Um, and then we'll go through it on the next on stage. Next one, Wi-Fi, that's it. We'll so put after pairing up to the internet, um, as you can see, there's all these functions that it covers which is a no-brainer for the price, but uh, we'll go through it. We'll do the update. Obviously, we'll do all of them. Um, let's put a refresh on, see if there is anything added onto the list. Um, and then we'll start all, leave it. It may take a good few minutes or even hours, should we say. Um, once that's done, we'll move back onto it. I'm going to move on to the handling. So in terms of size weight weight is okay it's not so bad at all i'm quite happy with it not the heaviest thing pretty good in terms of screen size um it's okay it's easy you know to read um, and navigate through the systems it's not a problem in that sense um right at the back it's good to hold so if we're going to hold it it's okay obviously this is not rubber this is like plasticky so it's a bit slippy in your hands. Um, like we said before, it's touchscreen. 
and you've got the buttons as well to use and the back button same as here there is a lot of different variety of vehicles that it covers as you can see um i'm flicking through it quite quickly so you can you know stop the video at any point yourselves and double check um but there is a lot of variety that it has um uh, funnily it's got more coverage in terms of vehicle than my hotel machine had um believe it or not um as can be seen with your own eyes there's the auto search as well picks the vin up uh, which like i said i will go through at another stage um and then moving i mean i'll go through the functions this s800 king bowling you know this the, the function that it covers now it has various different ones so like um the there is four different systems so the engine aps srs transmissions you've got these four different systems you can get into um there are 15 different heart reset functions so the the reset functions are your oil brake okay the sas steering angle sensor tire pressure monitor sensor reset throttle adaption uh, your abs bleeding which is good Believe me, it's well needed that if you're in the mechanic world. Injector coding, again, I'm not even going to comment on that. It's, it's pretty damn important if you're in that game. Uh, battery matching. So the battery matching is basically, uh, let's just say a BMW comes in, you've changed or replaced the battery from a 90 to a 100, 110. That's what that means. Uh, gearbox learning. So in other words, when you put a new uh, clutch in or gearbox in a car, you, you code it in. Uh, immobilizer resets as well so good stuff guys um there is it supports a lot of cars like we've said in the past there's the auto vin read which is this here it you know specific well, as soon as you hit it within a few seconds it picks the vehicle up uh, with no issues um the real-time battery monitoring so you know like um in the past we've used hotel and the uh, launch and whatnot this also has it uh, I can't remember which corner it is, but it tells you the instant um, battery um, voltage, which is good to know. Um, so, there we go. There is, um, so, there is a uh, live data, which is what most mechanics will probably need anyway, if you're in the game uh, and you're quite advanced. So, this is, you got to think, yes, you're paying 160 quid, but really, if you're comparing this to another machine, you know, for example, hotel, I don't know, let's say launch, X tool and other other diagnostic machines out there. Equivalent to this, you'd be paying like double or triple more, a lot more for these sort of functions. Whereas you're getting it for a fraction, a lot less uh, as well. So you'll get an automated uh, uh, report. So, you know, when you do a full diagnostic scan um, and you want to email it across to the uh, you know, uh, the, the person who owns the vehicle or whether it's your vehicle, you want to keep a record of it or not, um, you can email it across, which is good. And there's the four in one data stream graph as well, which, you know, is good if, you, if you're going to use that. Um, there are other things as well. Like, um, like we said, there's a lot of coverage in terms of vehicle. There is, um, I don't know, there are probably over, over 75 vehicles are covered in this. And, and also, I did look at the language when I set it up. Um, it does cover 16 languages. There is a support memory, which as you saw earlier in the video on the side, um, you can put a memory in there of uh, 256 gig. The the storage, the internal storage of itself is 32 gig. Uh, we've said it is touch screen, which is brilliant in that sense. Um, it's good the fact that you've got the buttons as well. So in case the screen does play up, you've got the buttons Usually the screen does play up, obviously on any, whether it's a phone, anything like that, it will play up um, when it's wet or you've got oily hands. It's good to use this function. And yeah, there, 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 are, there are things in here which are quite professional, you know, are quite high up in the game. As we've said, um, there are different functions, the ABS bleed which is good if you've, you know, changed the pads or whatnot. The main question is warranty and updates. Right. Warranty is a year, a year's warranty with manufacturer. So, which is good news. A year's quite a lot, especially when in the mechanical world and you keep using it, you know. Um, and the main important thing is the updates. Guess what? The updates are free lifetime update. 
So guys, it is a no-brainer. You just have to think the long run. I mean, some machines out there, in comparison, and this is the reason I'm saying hotel is because I've used hotel for years, even Snap On, uh, Launch, and many others. Remember, the cheapest hotel is around 400, 500 quid, okay? And the update on that one is roughly 100 to 200 quid for one of them hotels, all right? This does a lot more than what the cheapest hotel does or the cheapest Snap-on does. Now, I'm talking price-wise, that's 400 on the hotel and Snap-on. And this is around 160-ish. So, free lifetime update. And plus, with the hotel, you may get a year, two-year free update. But after that, you're paying like 100, 200, which is going to work out a lot in the long run. And remember, it is user-friendly. There is no questions. I mean, come on, how hard can this be? There is, like I said, I will go through it, like another point. Auto of, auto of insert, boom, picks the car up. You do the full scan, which I will go through, like I said, on another stage. But you just have to think outside the box. Is it worth the investment, worth the money? Um Damn, it's worth it. I, there is no question. I mean, comparing this to the other tools, then, yeah, there is no questions in that sense. But um, any questions, guys, by all means, pop them through down in the comments or on the Facebook page. I will try and get back to you all as soon as I can. But I have many messages and comments on a daily basis. So do forgive me if I don't get back to you as soon as possible. Um, but I will try my best. Um, and the vehicle, you know, as well, just so you all know, it does cover the American vehicles like the Chevrolet, Ford, Chrysler, Cadillac, many more, the European uh, vehicles as well, like so, Mercedes, BMW, Porsche, and Audi, Asia cars as well, like, you know, Nissan, Infiniti, Toyota, Honda, many others, but they're just some of the examples, in case you missed it on there, um, there are, there are things that this can do that some other machines can't do, uh, I'm talking about other makes and models, uh, manufacturers but yeah i'll leave it with you guys if there is anything that i've missed and there is something you want to ask me go ahead and let me tell you something it is i know this is a copy but it's bloody tough i'll tell you that doesn't break promise you so if you're a mechanic and think god is it going to slip out of my hands then don't worry about that in that sense it's a tough tough machine We'll go through it at another point.